everyone, it's Ringold here, and today we're playing some more Love Three. Last time, we started Chapter 4 and began our journey as Alfred, the actual main character of the game. Uh, we were travelling towards the uh, Club Tizibu, which is somewhere down the train tracks. This is because um, we heard that someone who looks exactly like Johan is the bassist in a band there. Now, in between uh, episodes, I've just um, I've leveled up Johan, um, sorry, I've leveled up Emil and Alfred uh, three times, and um, I uh, found the good stick by uh, fighting the squawking sticks along the along the uh, train tracks. And um, that got me level up quite a few times because they can call for help, so I got a lot of XP. Now, I of course also gained a lot of DP for, um, for beating all those enemies, so I um, just went back to Tanzania Village and I bought some uh, equipment. So, yeah, on with the adventure. Adventure. Fill of hand and a really fine man. Right, well, oh yes, and um, Alfred learned uh, offense up Alpha, which of course um, increases damage. That's quite a lot. Uh, let's just attack the really flying mouse, because that is for the dangerous thing at once. So, we're quite alright for the damage. So, the slow that in is now dead, and the really flying mouse. Fly, really flying mouse. I really can't talk about it, because I'm just going to take this water. Ah, that feels much better. Alright, let's keep going. We have a mushroom now. So I'm just going to show you how much uh, more powerful Alfred actually is with the good stick. So Mill, he does about 35 damage, but... And we just get a quick mushroom effect. Alfred does 70 damage. Uh, now, to enemies who are not mushrooms and thus do not have insane amounts of HP and defense, Alfred does around 100 damage per attack. So that's quite excellent. <laughs> really, like, um, you basically don't need to replace, uh, replace a good stick as your main weapon for the entirety of the chapter. So, uh, this one it has less defense, so uh, let me show you. Ah, he misses! Like that! So yeah, 82 damage. Well, I think what, it really is around, I, I, was, I swear it really is around 80. Uh, I think I'm just getting really unlucky. But uh, we get the mushroom, so I take it, and on we go. I don't want to fight mushrooms, they're scary. Okay, what do we have here? Please don't write graffiti on science, like hot dog or dog food. Okay. Fine. So let's just um fight uh, if I can use um separately. Yeah, Divita it MPR, divide and conquer. Sorry, my nerd is showing but I said it in Latin. Let's first attack him. Spell attack, eight damage. Completely fine. Yeah, so, so 94. Like, our damage effort has increased a ridiculous amount. Um, what health that is. But yeah. And of course, we also have PSI now, so, um, Alfred has become something of a powerhouse now. Like, basically, he's very powerful. He can, he can do a lot of damage. And Emil levels up to level 16, so HP up by 5, offense up by 2. Defense up by one, speed up by one, and that's it. Let's keep going. Oh, we're going out of the bridge. And there's a present. There's a sprinting bomb. Excellent, excellent. Tasmini uh, is to the left, and the factory is to the right. Yeah, we need The cliff is uh, to the north, and the tracks are to the south. Oh, really? How very shocking. We meet a reconstructed mole. Let's just PK. Uh, let's just do P uh, PSI game and PK games real fast. Take them out. Yeah, there we go. 129, he's it. 
Th these are, of course, a modified version of the moles we fought in Chapter 1. I'm just trying to get Alpha to level up as well. There we come, though. Excellent, excellent. 82. I mean, seriously. Really, it's really quite ridiculous. And of course, we also have offense up, so I could potentially push our damage uh, damage to even further extreme if I wanted to. Train! Oh, yeah. Stand by me! I think that's the one. I think that's the movie where they like, jump out of the train and their part in at like the last second. We're increasing the number of cattle snakes. They're extremely dangerous. If you see one, stay away. View them from a distance only. Time your laboratory. So yeah, um, you actually really do want to avoid the rattlesnakes at this point. Because they actually are very, very dangerous. So yeah, squawking sticks. You the ones who uh, drop the good stick. Uh, they also have a 10% chance of dropping a normal stick. Just uh, just plain old stick. I think that's actually the item description. Oh, nobody came. Excellent. Um, which is the uh, weapon you find in uh, Emil's dark house in the beginning of chapter one when you're playing as good. So the outfit level is up to level 16, excellent, HP up by 7, PP up by 2, offense up by 1, defense up by 1, IQ up by 1, excellent. Bread roll. Excellent. Oh, no, capital snake. Yeah, they, they really are extremely dangerous. Uh, you you really don't want to fight them until much later. Or in a few chapters. You really don't want to fight them. Uh, you you really want to wait. Um, so let's take this one out. Oh yeah. Spinning around. So free turn for us. There we go. What about experience? Yeah, this is the factory. There's Butch. Phew! Can't stand doing work. I hate it. I should be nine already. And I could go to Titipu. I guess you wouldn't understand, huh? Maybe not. So yeah, we're just going to save. Because when you're in doubt, always save. We have the vending machine here. So we would like to. Let's see what they have. Uh, yeah, so yeah, we can buy some. Uh, HP, uh, restoring, restoring items, and such. Um, but we really don't need them because of all the uh, edible mushrooms and such that we've been picking up. So I'm quite all right. So you just get like a full heal somewhere, and there is the item door. So you can deposit any excess item. I dropped. Uh, yeah. So you can deposit some excess uh, items if you want to. Uh, I just really want to heal up. And using any items that is. So we have um, Isaac. Oh, hey there, Alfred. Are you here at the factory for something? If you feel like working with Kilda, we'll hire you. So we have some clay men too. We talk to the guy. Hey, you suspicious fellow. What are you doing here? Well, I just want to work. What's that? You want to go to Club Tizibu? A special place for workers here to go and relieve their daily exhaustion. Not for people who don't work. If we absolutely have to go there, then it's simple. Just do some part-time work here. What do you say? Are you up for some part-time work? Yes. Yeah? And that makes things easy. The job is to transport claim in. First, go all the way inside. Find a ladder there. Go down it. We'll find a bunch of clay men in the area below. Some of them will be almost out of energy, so you got to bring them back up here. Bring them one at a time. As you, uh, we, you, can't talk, brought three up, you're done. Just to be safe, I'll give you the sketch of how the factory is laid out. Why, thank you. Back from sketch. Oh, and sign your name on this document. No, no, not your name. I mean, you know, the name of, of the person in the background. <clears throat> to me. The person pulling the strings, I guess you, uh, you could say. What I mean to say is... The, the, the player's name. I just need it for, veri uh, for verification purposes. It's nothing too important, you know how it is. Anyway, if you could do that, uh, that'd help out a lot. 
yeah, Ringlord is the name of the person playing this game. Just there, uh, okay. There we go. Great, Ringlord. Is that your correct name? Yes! Ringlord. Alright, get, uh, got it. I'll add it to our record. I don't like that. Now listen. Don't do anything bad because that'll only inconvenience Ringlord. Don't forget that. Alright then, work out. Hold on, dog. Dogs have dog things to keep them busy. Dog. Go on ahead and do what uh, the boss dog says. Fine. I don't like the fact. I really don't like the fact that they're separating us from Emil. It feels, um. wrong. and frightening. Proclaim in low and energy every week, so you'll know which ones are right. Uh, are right. Uh, right. Uh, straight away. There we go. Alright. Hop to it. I'm not frog, so I'm not going to hop. Yeah. Clay men, they just have to play, and then they have those things, and you re energize them there. See if we can find a. Yes! Instant revitalizing machine. We're just gonna get in there. There we go. Fully healed. Excellent. Fully remarkable. Yeah, Emil is going to um, do this. He's going to help generate electricity. Anyway, down we go. Let's find some claim. That one is obviously fully functional. So, we need to find one that looks weak. Um, let's check down here. No. And that one looks fine. Aha! Here we go. You have to push them. Very tedious, actually. So this, uh, this is going to be fun. Uh, this is so boring. What a quote from my favorite movies of all time. It's called Pilgrim vs. the World. This is... This is... Boring. <laughs> I love to Pilgrim vs. the World. Excellent movie, by the way. Uh, and the comics all the really good, so ch uh, you should uh, check those out. Da, da, da. Oh my! No! Stop going in the opposite direction. Ugh! Stupid bloody clay man. Right, looking big mask. Oh, brought one already. Happened. Already? That took ages. Okay, hold on a second. Who's going to load the elevator? Yeah, then it goes on there. And we go up with it. Now we're up here, and we need it to go to the uh, re energizing part of the factory. No, don't go in that direction. Do as I say. Do as I say! Feel like a sound like that. Which I do not enjoy. There we go. Oh, good work, Alfred. Excellent. Then they re energize that one. And. Good as new. That's one. Oh, he's supercharged now. There should be some more. Let's bring him on up here. Two more to go. So as you can uh, hear, even the game isn't too happy to do, be doing this because it's really boring and tedious. Oh, oh, excellent! There's another one right there. Lovely. Thanks, guys. I uh, uh, this is to the developers. Thank you, developers. I appreciate the fact that um, you don't make me go a thousand miles to get the second one as well. That's quite lovely. So give me a quick push. And on we go. And I'm set. So yes. Da 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 Okay, here we go. Okay, that was the second one. Alright, good work. You can just leave it there, we'll handle it from here. 
Go and get that. Excellent, excellent. Only one more to go. So yeah, let's get the last one. Da da da. Okay, let's sprint into the mines real fast. That was fine. That was not. Excellent. We don't have to go three half miles to get another one. Excellent. Get up here. Just keep walking, just keep walking, just keep walking, just keep walking. I really don't like this. But it, it is really sort of a brilliant way to show how dull and uh, boring that there are synonyms. How dull and um, and samey the, uh, the villagers' days have gotten. Since the pig marks took over. No! What? Oh god. I'm just going to be. Uh... Okay, thank god. Thank god. No! No, don't! Uh... Don't do that, please. Please walk, walk forward. No. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Just keep going. Come on. Come on. Come on. No! I'm an idiot! Uh, here we go, here we go. There we go. Now we've finally gotten an out of this coin. Yeah, so you can really get out of the way. You can really tell how annoying and boring the villagers' lights have gotten. And I think that uh, using this very tedious task, which is only part-time work at the factory, to uh, illustrate that is actually quite brilliant. Just um, if you want to like dig into the themes and things of the game, which I won't do much of. But um, just um, just a quick intro. Just something quick and interesting. Finally, that was the last one. <clears throat> Phew, good work. That's enough for today. Don't forget to get or pay from Mr. Brown. He's the guard at the entrance. I see. You finished your part time job. Excellent. Okay, so, what's this? An old beanstalk led a spell can be heard off in the distance. You should probably quit for now. Oh yes, okay, so you, we've already seen this. But uh, the game is saying um, you should stop playing now because you've been playing for a really long time. Because again, I don't actually save. So the game thinks I've just been playing uh, like for hours and hours and hours straight. Oh, good job today. Here's all the reward for a hard day of work. So we get a ticket, and here's our pay, so 200 DP. Work every day and you can make even more money. Work up a good sweat as you strive for your dreams. You're still young after all. You can, in fact, just keep working. It's got really late. Go relax at Club TV and have a good time. Good job today. Yes, you can, of course, keep working for um, as long as you like and just get money, but I really don't want to. So I'm going to save here, and since we're fully healed, we're going to go try to fight a cattle snake. Just to see what, uh, how it all works out. Uh, but of course we want to not fight anything else on the way, although we fail to do so. And see if we can run away. Yes, we can. Excellent. So, cattle snake. That's right, fine. And of course, backpack. So we snuck up on a cattle snake from the time, by uh, launching as many powerful attacks as possible immediately. Uh, he doesn't know, so he'll just have to attack. Beat the games. So the cattle snake turns around. I'm going to keep uh, doing Pika games, because that is the most powerful attack I have. So yeah, you we do basically no damage. 
Uh, so it uh, swung its tail violently. Yeah, 65 damage. This is actually insane. Uh, let's try doing uh, offense of Alpha on Mill, so he does a little more damage. Because he, he's only doing one damage per hit. It's like if we were playing a sorcerer again. There we go, offense increased by 9. Keep uh, attacking, PK games. Yeah, now we're actually like, doing slight amount of damage. That was the horn. PK games Alpha. Uh, let's do some bleeding items. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's do a. Could have sworn we had an egg. That was cooked. Guess not. Okay, fine. And uh, bread roll. Alright, we get it to the middle. So you can do that on us. So we're getting fully healed. Point tail violently. No! Okay, so that didn't interrupt us, but uh, I'll heal her. Heal her for some reason. Odd. Let's try the games. Catch. Didn't get a combo in. Stab or No! Emil! No! No! Oh, he collapsed. Bloody hell. Fine, we'll just do that. Okay, so we have one more PK games for him, and then he's going to Queen of Tail of Ireland in the PK games. Let's try using a sprinting bomb. I think uh, we were the one to have that. Yeah, we are indeed. Seven or one. Oh no, more than damage. Please kill it. We actually killed it! Yes! Yes! 536 experience! And fresh milk! Fresh milk! Yes! We bloody killed it! So, of course, Emil is now uh, knocked out, so we're going to get into the instant revitalizing machine. Why can we just run from this point? Uh, in, so, we're going to go into the factory again to, um, and heal up. That was quite fun. That was very fun. I'm going to save now. That was, that was very fun to, uh, destroy, to destroy something so powerful. Yeah. So it's not for no reason that they warn you not to fight these uh, these cattle snakes. They really are very, very powerful, very, very dangerous. Yeah, we're fully revitalized. Excellent. Get out of my way now. Okay, yeah, I'm going to uh, save, and then I think we will end the episode here. So next time, we're going to be going to Club City Boo and seeing if the faces there is actually Johan. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, and if you want to see more videos like it, uh, do remember to subscribe. So have a nice day, and goodbye.